resident. Hey, how are you? Yeah. How you been? Yeah. I like your shoe. Uh, I actually got I got one from uh, the mall. Appreciate it. Whatever. Hey, go ahead. I'm gonna wait until you finish. No, I'll call you. I'm trying to get in touch with pest control and get them out here tomorrow. And I asked you to give me time to work on that. Right, but I know that you get busy and get wrapped and stuff. So I wanted to come put myself on pest control because when the assistant manager told their employee to do it, it didn't get done. And I don't are want. You put I don't want to put. On pest control? I don't know. I was gonna come and see. There was there a book or something I'm supposed to find? Uh, go dig and find a book. How are you gonna? Put I'm definitely gonna ask. When, when, when somebody has time to talk to me like I'm an adult or a human being, I, I was definitely going to wait and ask. I didn't need to be yelled at. You do. No, I don't. You do. I don't. That's the only thing you understand. That, how are you, how you going to tell me? I'm a 35 year grown man. You don't, you don't know nothing about me. I know what you give me when you come in here. That's what I know. The energy. What did I give you? Give what did I give you? All the time. I, know the I was the one encouraging you when this, when this office was going down, when, when the whole office skipped on you. And you was all stressed out. I was the one encouraging you, saying you're going to be all right. No, whatever. Whatever. I didn't say, oh, I didn't have no problem with you until you told me it was my fault that people getting shot around here. Yes, sir. I ain't never told you that. Crazy. Oh. Yes, sir. You, what's the issue? This is why I go live. Because what she didn't say, y'all heard last time. Control, right? Yes. Um, for the issue that you told me you have, it's a special um, replacement of the crank for that one. Um, so, um, I believe Angel was working on it for you. That woman has gotten beside herself. Uh, I mean, Did I? I, I need to talk right? like that. 1101. 1101. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. The energy. Oh, you an energy reader now? Um, they teach you that in leasing school. Where did you, where, where did you see it? First, it was on my patio. It walked in through my patio, mm -hmm. took a tour in my living room. I stopped it from going around because it didn't schedule a tour and I made sure it went back outside and then I came into the office. Then later that night, I came back in. It was some in my kitchen. So I went in there. It's an adult one, and it went under the stove. Okay. And then now I'm in the bathroom, about to get in the shower, taking a dump like grown people do, even kids do. People just do that, period, especially when they need to because it's human. It comes from my bedroom into the, into the bathroom, into the counter. Okay, okay. So that's three times. Let me reach out to them first and see what, um, how we can go about reading up the issue. This is like a special request, understand? So uh, we have to reach out to them and see what they want for us to inform you of how to prepare or what we can do to help you rid of that issue. So I'll give them a call here and then what I'll do is I'm going to text you and let you know what they say. Now it is late in the day, so I'm not sure. She might have to reach out to them tomorrow. Or if you prefer for me to help, I can do it on Monday, Monday morning. Oh, she has too much personal issues with me to do anything I'll for make me. Sure it's done, okay? She must don't like black gay people or something. I don't know what it is, no, but this lady has a problem with me, and I don't know who she is. 
I only met her a couple of months before I met y'all. I don't know her. I apologize for the issue, but I'll be oh. taken care of Monday morning, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and try and do my pronoun, but um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be Monday for sure. I'm and did you see I'm off your ledger I'm off. with no government assistance help, even though I was trying to stay off your books? It's, it's not my decision. Oh, no, no, no. It's I, not mine. I have a job. No, I wanted to stay off your books because I know you get your bonuses and stuff like that. So it was really unfortunate. Actually, I don't. Okay. It was, mm -hmm. I, I just didn't want to be on your to-do list. No. So I was trying to get help from the government, but I didn't. So I just had to You're push good through. To okay. Yep. So, um. I'll get this taken care of for you for sure, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And your employees need some more training. While she's helping another black man. Maybe she got something to get a black man. Maybe some, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something against black men that she got an attitude with and she just don't give no respect because she 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 sure was helping someone before I walked in. And instead of continuing to help him like he's an important, like 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 he's an important person, important black man, she yells at me like I'm her child. Lady, I don't know you. Mm -hmm, that's how I need to handle you. No, what, what you mean that's how you need to handle me? I can't even, I can't believe they allow you to work for them. I can't believe you even employed handling business like that. Girl, what personal problems do you have with anybody? And you're not grown enough to leave them at home? The energy I give you. I don't give you no energy because I know you're not responsible. I know you can't do nothing. The fuck I look like getting mad at you and you can't do shit. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing but lease and take work orders. That's all you can do, and you barely can do that. Girl, little Miss Sting, girl, how dare you? Looking like a bushes of thorns was spreaded between your fucking head. Whoever the fuck did your hair, whatever that is on your head, you need to take it off because it's pricking my eyes. Girl, the energy I'm giving you, you girl, you the energy, girl. I, I know you can't read energy because when you got dressed and looked in the mirror, you should have saw that energy and you should have changed right away. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I cannot believe this woman talking up, girl. How dare you? I how how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? First, she gonna talking about. I said I wanted to move because this man got shot in front of the apartments and then oh boy jumped over my balcony jumped over my balcony oh boy jump that was my last straw that was my last straw my neighbor got shot got killed upstairs still stay god god baby mama baby's well boyfriend got killed Right across the street. Still stayed. Oh boy, done pushed allegedly his girlfriend off the balcony and she done fell from the third floor to the to the fucking first floor and hit a fucking thing and still stayed. People getting fucking robbed. All this shit going on and you talking about you feel like it's my fault. Like I like I'm bringing the drug. Girl, how stupid do you sound? She she, oh my god oh my god the nerve the audacity for you to be at work for you to be at work and to talk to people like that to disregard people like that to conduct yourself like that i don't know what's going on with that lady's life but it is something needs to be checked and worked on for her to feel like she can just go to complete strangers just because she has a job just because she clocks in she feels like she has the authority and, and has the audacity to fucking go through with what she feels like and treat people and talk to people like shit like they their motherfucking kids girl i'm paying my bills not you Girl, you don't own these motherfucking apartment complex. You barely motherfucking work here. The fuck wrong with you? Girl, in there fucking starving yourself. Not no fucking taking no lunches and shit. You should have taken a bitch. Yes, you should take a lunch. You too fucking grown to be asking if you should take a lunch. You should know it's fucking illegal to work and not motherfucking take a lunch. 
asking dumbass questions, but you in my motherfucking leasing office conducting business and don't know how to fucking conduct business, but has the nerve to fucking clock in and clock out every day like you fucking actually doing something. Girl, needs to, girl, you can't even handle your job. How you gonna handle me? I'm not your job. You signed up for your job. You didn't sign up for me, so I know you can't handle me. Little Miss Sting. I knew it was something about that lady. Every time I go in there, she has a motherfucking attitude. She has a motherfucking attitude. I used to work in those motherfucking apartments, so I know when people come in there, they got motherfucking attitudes. And I done seen my coworkers try to take their motherfucking problems out that they couldn't take out on their motherfucking residence that they was dealing with and take them out on a good one. Bitch, you're not about to take your motherfucking problems out on me because you couldn't take it out on the fucking people that you really wanted to take it out on. Girl, I have gave you no problems. None. But she has the nerve to pick me out. She must have a problem with black men. That's that's all I can think of. That's all the fuck I can think of. And then she keeps track of how many gay motherfucking people stay there. But that's fucking weird. That's weird. We have a lot of gay people stay here. Bitch, you keeping track? It's your weird ass. That's weird. Fucking apartment keeping the track of how many gay people moving in. Oh, we have a lot. Bitch, how you know about people's sexual preference? That's weird. You don't need to know nobody's sexual preference to fucking lease and renew fucking apartments. Something ain't right. Something is not right with that lady. Something is not right with that lady. And for that office to sit there and let her conduct herself like that, that is bullshit. in this fucking apartment for four years and never had no motherfucking rats. You motherfuckers come and start doing shit and rats every motherfucking where now. And now I'm seeing rats everywhere. Patio, living room, kitchen, dining room, bedroom, bathroom. That's the whole motherfucking one bedroom. I didn't even get in the motherfucking shower because the motherfucker's in the bathroom. Shit, I just, I literally just left my motherfucking house because I got a fucking squatter. I literally have a fucking squatter. And the bitch got an uncle or something in there with his motherfucking ass. Everything happens for a reason. It is just so funny. It is just so funny. It is just so funny. The day, the day, the day that I seen the motherfucking rat, I got to notice that I couldn't renew my lease. That At first, I thought that was a that was that's, that's that's just stupid and fucked up. Like they they literally have something against me. I can by me saying that out by me saying that out loud. I wonder how many other people, at least they decided not to renew. Renew. Am I the only one? I really feel like I'm being discriminated against. I really, 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 really do. I really do. I really do. I really do. And I try not to be that one. I try not to be that person. And I will fucking bring it up if it's starting to feel like that, but I, I really don't play the victim, but bitch, you're not about to fucking treat me wrong and keep doing it just because I'm able to motherfucking take it and blow your motherfucking ass dust. No, you're not about to keep fucking getting over on me because your motherfucking ass have a mirror, but bitch, I'm not the highlight of your motherfucking day. You go home and be like, oh, I went off on this one resident. Oh, I put this one resident. Bitch, if that's the highlight of your motherfucking day, if that's the highlight of your motherfucking day, if that's the highlight of your motherfucking day, That's pathetic. That is just sad. That's sad. That is motherfucking sad that you look for me. That you look for me. Out of all those motherfucking residents and all those people, you pick to choose to have a motherfucking attitude and problem with me. You motherfucking keep track with every fucking thing that I do. That is weird. That is weird. That is fucking weird. Oh my God, the energy that I bring her. No, girl, that's the energy that's bouncing off from your motherfucking ass because I match energies. That's one thing about motherfucking me. I match energies. 
Period. person can't even go inside of a business place and conduct business without having to motherfucking deal with people's motherfucking personal opinions, feelings. That is just sad. That's sad. That's sad. Citygate? That's who y'all hiring? Citygate apartments? Citygate. 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 That's who y'all hiring? Has it come to this city gate? Oh, ho! Oh, if it ain't one thing, it's another. You know I'm pissed off, right? You know I'm pissed off, right? So I don't give a fuck what people feel or say. You know I'm pissed off, right? We got fucking rats. Don't call me talking about you can't be motherfucking trusted. Bitch, I don't care what I can fucking be. I'm not looking to be motherfucking shit. Those are your motherfucking opinions. I don't give a fuck. You not giving a fuck if I'm a... You not... Oh, my... I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Let me tell y'all motherfucking something. I don't care about what y'all think. Just because you think it... Does not mean that I'm going to all of a sudden start being it, okay? I don't care how nice you say that I am, don't mean I'm gonna be nice. I don't care how mean you say I am, don't mean I'm gonna be mean. I don't care how much of a hoe and how many people you say I slept with, don't mean I'm gonna be a hoe and go sleep with a lot of people. I don't give a fuck what you got to say about me. Your opinion is not going to motherfucking mold me to the point to where I'm trying to please your motherfucking gas.